Hi, my name is Drew Blakeman, and uh, the reason I'm creating this tutorial on how to get Windows XP onto your PSP is because, uh, like you, I've been searching through uh, YouTube for, for a long time, and, and uh, every video I, I clicked on, it was horrible quality, horrible descriptions, and they all seem to be uh, narrated by some 10-year-old British boy. So, uh, I'm going to give you a very easy to follow, uh, very uh, descriptive tutorial on how to do this and uh, along the way I'll answer some of the questions I've seen posted on YouTube. Okay, to get Windows XP onto your PSP, the first thing you begin with is your computer. Next, you go straight to the internet. And now we are at the internet. Go up to the URL and type in download.com. Enter. And now you will be redirected to download.com. Now you go straight to the search bar and you type in PSPWXP. Enter. Next you will see the search results. Now if you scroll down there is only one link and that is PSPWXP 1.02. Click. Now you will see PSP WXP download. And now pops up the do you want to open or save this file box. What you will click on is save. Where you would like to save is really up to you as long as you know where to get it. So what you will do is you click save wherever you feel comfortable with. Now I don't have a dial up connection but I do know that with high speed this is very quick download. Now you will go to open. Now the downloaded file pops up. In this pop-up window you have PSP XP folder, an icon that says install, and a readme. But before you can do anything with these yet, you must go to extract all files. Click. Next I am redirected to a welcome to compressed zipped folders extraction wizard. Uh, depending on how you want to extract your folders, it really shouldn't matter. But uh, I'll go to Next, and I'll go to Next. Extracting should only take a few moments. Now it tells me exactly where it has extracted the files to. And when I click Finish, it pops up to this folder. Now at this point, this is when you can connect your PSP to your computer. So I will just exit out of a couple things. Now I continue to connect my PSP into my computer. Make sure you do have the USB the right way. Make sure that you do turn your PSP on. Okay, PSP turns on. I connect the other end of my cable into my PSP. Now I will scroll up to USB connection. And there we go. Now when this pops up, there's only one thing you need it for. All you have to do is just remember what drive your PSP has been put into. In this case, mine is drive J. Next, you will need to find the folder that you extracted all your files into. In this case, I put it in My Documents. Now that you are back to your files, you will go to Install. Now the security warning will pop up. It's completely safe, trust me, just click Run. Do you recall the drive I told you to remember? Well if so, you will go down to that drive, select it, and click OK. Next it will ask you if you are sure that you want to install this program onto your PSP because this may take a few minutes. Yes. Minutes are not so much. Now in the meantime you might want to grab yourself something to drink, something to eat because it does take just a little bit of time. Now you can exit out of USB mode. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go down to system settings and you're going to make sure that WMA playback is enabled as well as flash player. 
Now what this installation did is, it basically put a file into your PSP that you can access through the internet browser. This does not require an internet connection whatsoever. Now on your internet browser, go to address. Now because I've already done this, I have it in my history. You however will need to type this in. You will type in file colon slash PSP WXP slash index dot htm. Remember there is a slash before and after PSP WXP, a colon after file, a period after index, an H after the period, an M is the last letter, F is the first letter. Basically, everything has to be spelled correctly in order for this to work. So make sure you have that correct. Next, you can go straight on to enter. To Windows XP. And that's, in a nutshell, how you do it.